before hello everyone today we're going to be talking about questions you should ask yourself before you decide to adopt a kitten now this was requested today out of the list of options i gave my followers on instagram so this is what we're doing the first question is can you provide proper vet care for that kitten it's really important that a pet has proper vet care so that it can live its healthiest, happiest life. Will you have the finances to do this? An adult cat needs at least a yearly visit, plus any emergency care. If the kitten is not already neutered and doesn't have its vaccines, you'll also have to take care of that shortly after getting the kitten. They generally finish vaccines around 12 or 16 weeks and will also need boosters periodically. The second question to ask yourself before adopting a kitten is, is everyone in the house on board? You shouldn't really bring a pet into a household if one or more of the members of the family are not on board with the idea. If someone is not on board with having a kitten, they may be careless or not attentive to the cat's needs and that might result in someone or the cat itself getting hurt. Another question to ask is, are there any allergy sufferers in the house? Your family may be unaware of potential allergies, especially if you haven't been around cats much before or never had one as a pet in your home. Before adopting, it might be a good idea to have each member of the family spend time around cats. Some options for this are friends, pets, or going to a cat cafe. You could also spend time volunteering with cats at a shelter, helping the animals that way, and you're also gathering valuable information about your potential pet. If someone in your home does have an allergy, that doesn't necessarily mean you can't have a cat. It's just important to know that so that you can plan ahead of time and know exactly how you're going to handle the situation. Knowing the extent of the allergies and educating yourself on how to handle it can be very, very valuable. Another option if someone in your home is allergic to cats is to foster kittens. And this is because young kittens don't give off as many allergens as an adult cat. So that might be a good option for you to have a cat in the house, but also not cause someone to suffer with allergies. Question number four to ask yourself before adopting a cat or kitten is who will be the primary caregiver for that pet? And who will be financially responsible? Even if the cat is going to be a family pet, it is a good idea to have a conversation about who the cat will technically belong to. This will help it reduce any arguments about who actually was supposed to feed the cat its dinner while the cat is sitting there waiting for its dinner. Question number five, who will be caring for the cat if you have to be away from home? Even if you or your family doesn't travel much, it's probably a good idea to sort this out ahead of time. Having this planned ahead of time means that you can travel and not have as much stress or in an emergency you'll know exactly who to call to care for your cat. Obviously, you should discuss this ahead of time with whoever the person you decide on is. Maybe they'd even like to visit and let you walk them through your cat's daily routine. Question number six, would a circumstance ever cause you to rehome your cat? When you first adopt, it's easy to say, oh, there's no way I could ever rehome my pet. And I hope that's true. But you should discuss this before adopting and be honest about it. A pet is a living creature who will destroy things maybe or have behavior problems and it's important that you are able to commit ahead of time to working through these things without rehoming the cat. Do your research and know exactly how long this cat is expected to be around. Obviously there may be some extreme and unforeseen circumstances in which case you may have to rehome your cat, but your family's idea of a circumstance that will justify rehoming is something like destroying shoes, Adopting a cat may not be the right option for you. If there's any chance of you moving to another home while the cat is with you, you also want to keep that in mind as some places landlords won't allow a pet. So if you are planning on moving in the future, you'll want to make sure you keep your cat in mind and make sure your family is willing to keep that in mind and perhaps choose a different home based on that. Especially as they get older, cats will be very stressed out by going to another family. Cats are extreme creatures of habit and this will m mess with them very much and possibly be very harmful to them psychologically. Please remember adopting an animal is a commitment and you're committing for the lifetime of that animal. Do your research ahead of time, don't get caught off guard, 
It's very important to have an honest conversation with all the members in your family and everyone who may be involved with taking care of the cat. Thanks for watching today's video. Don't forget to subscribe and turn on your notifications so you won't miss a video. And comment below, are you thinking of adopting a kitten? If you've already adopted a kitten, what has helped you best prepare for that? Also, don't forget we're trying to get to 60 subscribers on YouTube in the month of August. And if that happens, there will be a giveaway. So make sure you subscribe if you're not subscribed already and watch all of my videos all the way through. It really helps me and it will help us get to the giveaway. See you next time.